Hi, I'm Joe from Wacom. I'm going to suggest some ways to better take advantage of dual displays when you're using Photoshop. In Photoshop, most people want the ability to retouch an image on one screen and at the same time see the results on the other monitor. I'm assuming at this point that one of your displays is a Cintiq and that it's set up as your primary display. So that's a display on which you'd like to do your detailed work. If you need help setting up your Cintiq as primary, please take a look at the video on setting up and installing your Cintiq. Let's get this set up. First, open your image in Photoshop. Once the image is open, go to the Window menu at the top, select a range, and then choose New Window 4 and whatever the document name is. You may not have seen anything change. If you need to, hit the F key on your keyboard until your images are both shown in their own windows. Put your pen on the title bar of one of the images then hit the button that is currently assigned to display toggle on your Cintiq. If you're not sure how to toggle, refer to the video on setting up the express keys and I'll show you how. Now you're controlling the pen on both displays, so you can take that image and move it over to the other display. Once there, simply hit the F key on the keyboard to make the background go away. Or if you like a black background, simply hit F again. If you're on a Mac at this point, hit Command-0, otherwise Control-0 to make the image as large as it can be on that display. Now come back to the other display by hitting the Display Toggle button again, and then touching the display anywhere. Hit the F key again to go full screen mode. Now I can work on this image at whatever zoom level I like, and still see the overall effect on this display in full screen mode. There you go. It's very handy if you're a Photoshop user with dual displays. If you want to learn more about using a Cintiq with another display, watch the other videos at Wacom.com such as configuring dual displays and mirroring and cloning. And if you have technical questions, visit Wacom product support online at www.wacom.com.